Hello artists. Today we are going to continue being inspired by the quilts of G's Bend. And I have here with me a book that has a bunch of different examples of quilts. Um, and this is one of my favorite quilts. Um, and it was made by Annie Mae Young of G's Bend. And please take a moment to look at the link on the assignment so that you can find a quilt you want to base your drawing on because we are going to be drawing quilts today. So I'm being inspired by this beautiful quilt. You can see she used um, old pieces of denim or like jeans around the border. And then I just love these colors in the center. So I have my paper here to start my drawing. If you want to use a straight edge, you can. I kind of like how these quilts have character. Maybe they aren't perfectly straight, so I'm just freehanding. And I'm going to add those stripes in the center. Again, your choice. Maybe you want to choose a different quilt to draw. And if the one you chose feels um, you, you maybe need to simplify it. I know there are some that have so many amazing pieces that if you want to adjust, you can. So this is my centerpiece with the stripes, and then I'm gonna show those long pieces on the side. They seem to be much wider. And then here I have my watercolor supplies. So you can choose if you want to watercolor your quilt or paint your quilt to look like the example you're being inspired by, or do you want to come up with your own just based on the patterns that you're seeing? Um, I'm going to start with a reddish orange, so I'm waking up my paint. And I'm going to spend some time just being ins inspired by those amazing compositions of the quilt and what you're going to end up with is a really beautiful painting of modern art. So when you finish your painting, please take a picture and upload to this assignment. I can't wait to see your beautiful work.